Hey, hello everyone, Ginger Gargoyle here with another haul video. I'm trying to turn down my police radio, so. Okay, yeah, I'm really zoomed in. Because this one is from, hopefully you guys will be able to read this because I'm zoomed in. But if I go down too far, it whites it out. This is from Scrapbooking Made Simple in Santa Clarita, California. I'm really, really, really hoping that you guys can see the words. I'm trying my best to put some shade in there. Okay, so let's get into this one. What did I get? Well, the first thing I picked up, and I was so glad that she offered this. This order was from April 16th, by the way, of 2022. It just came... Oh, I want to say it came last week, and my daughter brought it up this week. I just got around to doing the video of it. This is a refill bottle for, I don't know if you guys even remember, I picked up Unicorn Inks from Hero Arts. They're a pigment ink, and the white is fantastic. It shows up so well on a dark color. It's like black or brown. And whites are hard to do unless you get a paint for it to really show up. So I wanted to make sure that I picked up that reinker. And then, like I said, this was this was less than five dollars. It was just under five bucks. It was like four ninety five or something like that. And then I picked up one of these kits. All right, this is a kit from. Inky Antics, all right, it, it is the Inky, Inky Antics Gamsol set. Now, don't do what I do, don't make the mistake, okay. You get a, a sandpaper skimmer, okay, it's basically a sharpener cleaner for your stumps. You only get two stumps for this kit. Um, there are some from, I want to say Contour Creations. No, the Spectrum Noir people. Okay, they have a set where it's like two of this size and three of this size and two of some that are even bigger than this. All right, but these are what you use with the Gamsol. Do not make the mistake that I did. I thought that blending solution and Gamsol were basically the same thing. They are two different kettles of fish. Gamsol is mineral spirits, okay? But their bottle, I don't know if, oh man, I really, really hope that this is going to show. Their bottle has this little sponge on the top all right, so that you're not wasting your Gamsol because Gamsol evaporates like that, okay? It, it evaporates faster than rubbing alcohol. And you need this to melt the, the wax of colored pencils and crayons and that type of thing, okay? So I got a bottle of that two of this, one of these, and some instructions that give you better details as to how it works. Okay. All of this was, oh, it was under $12. It was 11 something. Okay. I want to say it was like 11 38. It was, it was pretty inexpensive. So I got, I actually picked up two of these, one for me, one for my son for his birthday. Shh, don't tell him. And then, and then, for under $36, no, under $35, excuse me, it was $34.42 or something, it was pretty expensive. I got these three packs of pencils, all right? My son took my Spectrum Noir pencils last summer, at the end of the summer, and so I've been without pencils. But these ones are different. These ones have, uh, zoom in, metallic. Okay, these are the metallic pencils. And they're a beautiful, 
array of colors. Let's see if I can't open this up. I have no fingernails left. I can't open it up. And then there are pastels. Okay, see the pastels? <gasps> Look at the pretty colors in the pastels. I'm a very pastel type person. And then there is six neon colors. Okay, hello neon. Let me see if I can't get... Oh, okay, the neon colors are going to open up fairly easy. Look at those. Look at those colors. Look, 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 look how bright. Look how bright. They're like day glow. I don't know if day glow was registered or not, but that's what that reminds me of is the day, day glow from the 80s and 90s. My oldest son would love those. He was really into day glow. Let's see if I can't get these other ones to open as well. Hang on, I'm going to pause you. Okay, I got them open. Interesting thing. The day glow. Oh, come on, I just had you open. The day glow, the pencil casing is black. Okay. The metallics, which I also have opened. All right. The color casings are black. Look at those beautiful colors. I don't know if this is going to show the metallic of those pencils bright enough. Look at that. Look at that. Let me show you these ends. Okay. So I got those ones. But the pastels are brown. Okay. This reminds me so much of the Spectrum Noir pencils, which went from being um, black to being red. I think they changed their casing colors, too, because the watercolor ones were blue. Okay. You can see that these are a pastel, but this is what I want to show you. Just like the first time that the Spectrum Noir pencils came out, these don't have colored names to them. They have colored numbers. All right. Let's see if I can't. I may not be able to get that to show up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I might be able to do it better on with one of the black ones. The colors, the names of the colors are not on the pencil. I think they were, wait, could they have been red and then went to black? I don't remember. But, uh, here we go, like this is color 364. Hopefully this will show up. Three, six, four. Come on, focus, please, focus. Focus, please, 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 please. Oh, I don't know if that's going to show up or not. Okay. So, when you are coloring with these, you really need to take note of what numbers you're using. Because they, uh, they don't have color names on them. Which always has confused me. I suppose it's because what one person, like this is 551. See, it says N-O-551. Oh, come on, focus. Focus, please, 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 please. It's not going to focus. All right, so uh, the only thing I can think of is that, say you call this patina but to somebody that's not patina or you say this is gold but to someone this one is gold that's the only thing i can think of is the reason why they wouldn't have labeled them with names which to me makes sense um i do that quite a bit if you watch my videos you notice i do that quite a bit i'll say but that's not that color to me that's more of a blah 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 okay and it's that blah, blah, blah that I'm thinking they're trying to get away from. 
So this was less than $35. All right. The, the refill was, was, oh, think. The refill, <laughs> brain fart, brain fart, uh, the, the refill was less than five and these were less than $12 each, okay? And then to top it all off, she sent me once again a free gift and it is another one of the laces. So let's open up this lace and see what it looks like. This is a beautiful lace. It is so whisper thin. And look at that pattern. Oh, I don't even know if that pattern is going to show up nice. Oh, that is gorgeous. That is going to be going onto a scrapbook. I can tell you that much. Um, this is from Ultimate Crafts. And... Okay, it is just called White Decorative Lace, and you get 10 yards of it, so 30 foot. That's a lot of lace. Ooh, so now I have 60 foot of this lace. I'm going to be using this for something. I'm telling you, though, it is definitely going to go on one of my homemade, handmade scrapbooks because that lace is gorgeous. Okay, guys, that's it. Please go check out scrapbookingmadesimple.com. She just uh, did a new video for the the the, the um, say it was say yes to spellbinders, and it's spellbinders' twentieth birthday. So yeah, that's it, guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye bye.